ha 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 ha, Turtle. Welcome to the cryo chamber. Oh man, didn't Turtle spend enough time in a tank in the last movie? Shredder, just push him in already! You always spoil our plans with exposition! There you go again, Krang. Spoiling all my fun. I have to be my own supervillain. I'll let you guys fight it out in private. Arrgh. Shredder, you nincompoop. You let the turtle push you into the cryo chamber. Look out below. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at the Krang Cryo Chamber Mega Block set. Based on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. This is a cool building set. It comes with three minifigures, which are the reason I bought it, and I can't wait to get it built. The front of the package has some action-packed artwork there with Raphael fighting the bad guys of the movie. There's a little window on the side that shows off Krang, Raphael, and Shredder. Hi, Reflection! There's a little blurb right here that says that the set lights up. The back of the package has another photo of the set, this time a little less photoshopped. And down here at the bottom, you can see some of the other sets, including Donatello with his drone. Rocksteady on his motorcycle with Leonardo, Bebop on his motorcycle with Casey Jones, and Rocksteady driving a tank with Michelangelo. So I think these sets are the best way to get the movie accurate versions of the characters, and then those little individual packs give you cool interesting variants. Check it out, it's glowing! Let's get this thing open and put together! I want to take a second to show off this artwork on the back of the instruction book. It's really incredible. It combines all the different sets and probably some other stuff, you know, like a painting in the background or whatever. But it's really great looking, seeing all these figures in action together. Here's Krang's cryo chamber all put together. You can see it's a clear cylinder here with a cool lid that lifts off. And inside is the light up feature piece. It just kind of activates when you bump it. It just comes on for a little bit and then you can see it fades out. I think just a motion sensor. It's kind of a shame you can't like turn it on and leave it on though if you wanted to, but probably a lot of kids would forget and kill the battery. So maybe it's best this way. But you see there's a little ladder to a platform on the top there. I don't know who ends up going in this tube in the movie. Is that where Krang lives? Is that, is they thaw Krang out of there? Or uh, or is that how they rejuvenate the Shredder? I, I don't know. We'll have to wait until the movie comes out. We're going to start by taking a look at Shredder. If anybody's seen G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra movie, the armor that Shredder's wearing reminds me of the Neo Viper armor in that movie. But anyway, back to Ninja Turtles. Uh, Shredder's got his typical Shredder helmet. He's got some armor on his chest. He's got silver hands and silver boots. No real spikes on him, but we, we kind of noticed that with the regular figure. That there was uh, toned down on the number of knives and blades on him. And he does, again, come with this blaster. That I'm kind of assuming is a retro mutagen ray, but I'm not sure. And another interesting thing to note. Shredder came with a little peg that's supposed to be stuck in his back. And there's actually a picture on the box of the Krang holding Shredder by that. Like, almost dangling him. So I don't know if that's an important plot point or not. So Shredder has articulation at the neck there. It's like a little ball joint that moves around. The armor makes it a little tough. He's got ball joints at the shoulders. He's got swivels at the elbows and at the wrists. He's got ball joints at his hips there. They don't go out real far, but they can go out some. Nice hinge joints at the knees there. So he's really well articulated, and if you've seen any of the other Mega Bloks figures, you pretty much know what they're like. Next up, we've got Raphael. He's got a red headband on and a red chest harness. He's got black pants with a white belt and white boots. He comes with his two sizes accessories. He's got a brown shell there and a cool little gray shoulder pad. As a quick comparison, here's his single pack figure. This is the Paratrooper Raph. You can see they're similar. But, you know, they do have different equipment. Raph has basically all the same articulation as the Shredder. Next up, we've got Krang, the real reason I bought this set. I love that he's a big figure. 
a little over crank. There's Raph standing next to him. They're not on bases, so Raph's going to fall over. Uh, but you can see he's much larger. Very imposing. His feet are big. Look, they're like two block or two uh, brick point connectors as opposed to the one that the regular figures are. His head can move left and right and up and down a little bit. His arms are on ball joints just like the other figures. They don't go out to the sides real far. He's got nice hinge joints at the elbows there and swivels at the wrists. Down below here, he's got ball joints at the hips and hinge joints at the knee. So he's very nicely articulated. And one of my favorite things is that the little Krang brain here is its own piece and it's actually squishy. It's really hard to get at in there, but this figure actually disassembles like, you know, how most of the Mega Bloks figures do, but his chest comes apart, which is unusual. And you get this weird purple frame in here. So that way the back window of his body is see-through. But when I pull that out, there's my squishy crank. Squishy, 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 squishy. Now, I would note that the figure on the package, even though they, they're basically identical, somehow looks a little bit cooler. The coloring for this crying figure on the box is a little bit darker, so the brain is a little bit pinker, the eyes on, on the brain are a little bit more yellow, the skin tone is a little bit more peach and a little less, you know, it's just so pale here, that he somehow looked a little bit better, even like the blue on his little visor thing was a little bit more vivid. And so that was a slight disappointment. There's the comparison of the two figures. And, you know, the, the visor just looked a little bit more vivid. The skin color looked a little bit better. The brain's a little bit pinker. It's a, it's a fun figure. Tons of fun. But I, I really wish the colors popped just a little bit more. I think it would make them even cooler. Krang's Cryo Chamber is a pretty fun set. It's a very tiny set once built compared to the box it came in. But the Mega Bloks minifigures are a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and check out our other Ninja Turtle Mega Blocks videos, and check out our other TMNN. Ah, oh, come on.